Hello and welcome to BMAD in Revit tutorials. We are continuing with tutorials about roof structure and today I will show you how to calculate material quantities. Uh, we have rafters, we have decking, contra buttons and buttons, a metal sheet and I will show you how to calculate uh, material quantities by numbers and by area or by volume. We will start with roof rafters. Uh, now I'm naming the roof rafters in my own language. You can know the, these are uh, roof rafters. I select structural framing and from here I will uh, select length, mark, volume and I think this is enough for our material quantities for structure. We will use filter by mark and I select the roof rafters. Uh, from here we will select uh, to calculate totals okay and we have something like this we have names marks and volumes now using simple formula we can calculate rafters by numbers uh, we will use formula with length right and length of the rafters and we will have the volume of one rafter when we divide the total volume of the rafters that we use for this roof with volume of one rafter we will get the numbers uh, of rafters that we need for this roof construction Okay, from here we will choose the decimals for numbers of rafters and that's it, we have our numbers of rafters here. It's very simple way to calculate the material quantities with very simple formulas. Okay. We will choose sorting by mark and we will deselect the calculate every every uh, single rafter. We need only the total number of rafters here. All right. Now I will duplicate this schedule and I will use it to calculate contour buttons, buttons, decking and metal sheets. Now I am calculating the contour buttons. Okay, I select all of them. I uh, Here I will duplicate this element and rename it and create a new element by different name. And the section of our buttons will be different also. And now I will change them but to do that I must undo the I need to reset the expand presentation okay and from here I will select beam system and now from here I will 
choose the new modeled uh, element. Now I will displace the the buttons and I will bring our presentation, 3D presentation in previous mode. Okay, now I will select these and I will change the mark from here. I will name them uh, contra buttons. <clears throat> and now I will select the, this here and I will name the mark uh, buttons. I made a small mistake here in naming on my own language, but in English we have this order counter buttons, buttons. All right, we have uh, rafters, decking, counter buttons, buttons, and metal sheet. Now we will use uh, we will use filter to choose uh, counter buttons, and we need to create new formula with white length and height of the counter buttons. I will rename this formula parameter here and I will add dimensions of the counter buttons. Okay. These are centimeters. Now I will calculate the volume of one counter button that, uh, the, that our manufacturer can provide. that our manufacturer can uh, make for us. Okay. I'm sorry, I made a mistake here. I need to delete the, this part here. Okay, now it's all right. And that's it. This is the number of counter buttons that we need for this roof. I will select the decimal after to be zero, after point. Okay, now I will duplicate this schedule and uh, create schedule for but uh, four buttons. All right, and now I will change the formula because we have different dimensions for uh, buttons. Okay. Now we will calculate the volume of one buttons and this is the volume of one button. And that's it. This is the number of buttons that we need for for our roof. Of course, you can you can add formula to increase these numbers because we don't know. Uh, we 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 will have uh, parts that uh, that will be unused when we start to cut the dam. Because of that, we can add formula to increase this number. For now, will this I will leave this uh, in in this way. Okay.
we finish with this. Now I'm trying to find I'm trying to find a uh, decking. Okay, I will change the mark. I will add the name for mark, and uh, this will be decking. After this, I will duplicate the schedule and okay. No, I will create new schedule because with this will be roof schedule. This is the metal sheet. I will mark it as a metal sheet. As I said before, here I used my own language for when I create this tutorial. Okay, from here I will choose the roofs and I will change the name here. It will be decking. I will leave the fuzz. From here we will select the area. Mark. Volume. And uh, if you wish you can add other parameters such as cost. For now I need only the quantities. Okay, the sorting will be by mark. And from here we will got the totals. Area must be uh, calculated uh, to totals. Okay. All right, now I will duplicate this one and create a new schedule for metal sheet. Alright, and from filters we will choose the filter for with metal sheet mark. <coughs> okay, now I will go to sheets and from here I will add our 3D presentation. Okay, I will change background to none. And now I will add our schedules, our material quantities. Uh, I cannot add them because I'm in the 3D presentation, I locked it and now I can add the schedules. Our text is very small here, title text and uh, text with quantities, we will change it. I will, uh, first of all, I will add all schedule to the sheet and then I will change the I will show you how to change text types and size. All right. You go to font and from here you can change the font size. By pressing the shift you can select all or control button you can select all. parts of the schedule of the schedule and from here you can change the text font text or font size all right we will do the same here i 
I need to change the text in other schedules also. Maybe the uh, the easiest, the easy, more easy and uh, better way is first to uh, adjust all these text uh, and font sizes to make all these adjustments then to duplicate after that you can duplicate the schedule and by changing the filters uh, you can uh, create a schedule for uh, different elements of the roof in this case and then that you will save you a, a lot of time now we forgot to do that in uh, first schedule so I must go one by one and change the font size in every schedule separately we have uh, some problems here in totals with totals text uh, size so we will change it All right, we are going to appearance and from here we will select new text type. Okay. All right. Now we will do same for uh, other schedules. And as you could see in previous tutorial, I showed you how to create all roof elements. And with this tutorial, you now you can uh, calculate the cost of your roof uh, in a very precise and uh, very effective way. And that's the point of Revit, I think, to uh, export all information as much information as you can uh, for your clients this is not only a software for making graphical uh, drawings this is a software from which you can export uh, information about projects such as material quantities and uh, cost all right i will just rename the the this parameter here all right I will do uh, some adjustments here too. Okay. As you could see, you can calculate uh, depend on your manufacturer that uh, make uh, elements for a roof. You can uh, calculate the material quantities by numbers or by volume. I used uh, volume to uh, make uh, uh, formulas and to calculate uh, the numbers of roof elements. So that's all dear friends for this tutorial. Uh, I hope uh, this will be useful for you. Please don't forget to subscribe and to share my tutorials with your friends and colleagues. See you in the next tutorial.